Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment we have been waiting for is right here, right now. Cat 20 tokens or op cat tokens are currently being minted on Fractal Bitcoin. It is super hot. China's on board. Sap BB is popping off and there is gains to be made. So whatever you're doing, stop what you're doing and watch this video. So without further ado, let's go bank that coin. Francis Dune Uncensored. Welcome back to another video here at Francis Dune Uncensored where we do have tomorrow's newspapers today. You guys should all already know by now this is a smart money channel and I'm going to prove that to you guys in this video if you're new. But first, smash the like, smash the subscribe, but more importantly, smash the bell notification button so you don't miss out on time sensitive videos like this that is super alpha packed. Now let's get on with the program bro, we don't got time to waste. Guys, right here, follow these guys, cat protocol, protocol cat, okay? Over here is the documentation that explains everything. The moment I saw this, it stuck with me, and I knew this was the meta. We we're waiting for OpCat. This one is super sophisticated, super advanced, okay, guys? Just like BRC20s, in terms of how things look, we got the ticker, we got the symbol, so CAT. Their decimals is 2, the supply is 21 million, the limit per mint is 5. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I mint this? And we're going to get into the tech, but let's first tell you guys what's up right because you need to know why the market's bullish on this now the moment this tweet came out i won't say the moment but you know right shortly after so 3 p.m my time okay if we look at the price of fb on co oh my god bro look at this guys fb is going to moon fb is going to moon and i said this to y'all yesterday in my backyard when i did a live stream with shizzy i said at this point i'm led to believe it's going to go up and not down and sure enough that's happening but that was at my time that was what time 3 p.m as you can see right here, this is about 3 p.m. right here. It took people about an hour and a half to realize what's going on. So they collected FB when they saw that announcement and it went all the way up to where it's at right now, $22.59. This is wild. So that is mad hype. And if that didn't sell you on it, guys, look at this. Look at this sad VB. This is crazy. What does this tell you? That means it's volume. That reminds me of the days of BRC20 tokens when everything was spiked. Before that tweet came up, everything was like around 3 sats, um, um, three sat VB, right? It's 761 right freaking now. And anybody who's in this game knows this. You know when sat VB is up, something hot is being minted. I don't think we've ever, we never saw that with runes. Okay, guys? So that's another point. And I wonder... Why Safi's but VB is going up? Well, when you put in cat20, the hashtag cat20, no dash, just cat20, China's on it right there. Obviously, that's me. I made a tweet there. China's on that. Cat20. Important. Okay? <laughs> Very important. Um, right there. Cat20. China's on that once again. Okay? Look at this. Look at this. China's on that. Cat20. It's running like freaking wildfire china's again china 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 guys it's getting china again like it's over that's it this one could clearly run away with the cake okay like i don't even know if that makes sense if you run away with the cake or not i made a really nice thread i'm just excited it's about time we get what we wanted and we predicted this was gonna happen smart money channel for real so how could you even get this so let's take a look at this if you guys know anything, and we're going to take a look at this and break it down, right? If you guys know anything, right, um, with ordinals, when you made the first of sets of art, it was through nodes, right? Because we didn't have these user-friendly front-end service providers like, you know, sathunter.com where you can inscribe or like, you know, um, Unisat or what have you. So the first set of people who knows how to hook up a node could go do it. It's kind of like when people say that, how, oh, well, God, this is not that fair because, you know, we have uh, people with nodes doing it. Well, that's like people in Africa saying it's not fair that they're not getting in because they don't have a computer. Just because you don't have these things, I don't think it's not fair. Um, I would love to see that how they had this, you know, whoever made this up uh, to put the front end up for people. But I've run it by my devs and they're telling me it's legitimate. I gave them the documentation last night. I said, guys, try to set this up. Let's try to mint this thing. I haven't talked to them as yet. They're on um, European time and I'm over here in Canada. So and I got to make this video. I'll get back to them after to see what happens. But this is the hot mint. It's just unmistakably clear at this point. Now, how do we calculate where this progress is? This is how I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do some basic math, which I prepared here in advance. So right here, they're telling us it's 21 million tokens. That's five um, per mint. 
as we can see right here, approximately each block is um, containing about 500 to like 600 transactions, give or take, right? On average right now, it looks like 550. But for argument's sake, we'll, we would go with those figures of 600, okay? And this is what we got here. If now we were to, right, this is a supply, 21 million, divided by 5 mints, okay, it's going to tell us that how we have 4,200,000 transactions, which means for each block, there's about, as I said, you know, 550, but overall for this to finish, we will need that amount, right? 4,200,000 million transactions to finish. Each fractal bar block, again, is 500 to 600. Now, what we need to do is we take 4.2 million and divide it by 600, and then it's going to now tell us that now equates to um, exactly 7,000 blocks must pass in order for this mint to finish. And with those 7,000 blocks, that's with the notion of 600 transactions. So every single transaction of this has to be of these cat tokens that's being minted. So that's going to still take a long while. So I'm going to show you my thread. I'm going to show you the documentation, why it's bullish, what separates this from BRC20s, from runes. You don't need an indexer, okay? So without an indexer, what does that mean? You don't need to trust somebody that built that indexer that particular way. And we're going to get into all of those details. Let's carry on to my next slide, which is my thread. Okay, so whatever. The first part doesn't matter. I showed them this. And it says here, CAT is minor validated and uses smart contracts, specifically covenants to manage token mints and transfers compared to all um, through Bitcoin's built-in programming language. So not to confuse anybody, you're going to hear this word quite often, covenants. Think of covenants as the smart contract mechanism that allows one thing to happen. So for example, if you had a loan and you're building, building this through OpCAT operational codes and covenants, now, they will know how much, right? So the person giving me the loan will know how much they loaned me. And once I repay that back and I send it to their wallet, this sort of like a covenant, right, through OpCat will trigger telling the system, hey, this guy repaid back his loan. Let's give him back his funds, right? And that's how that works. You see what I'm saying? So one action, then it takes another action, and it has a reaction. So it's like a smart contract mechanism that allows these things to happen, okay? Now, key points. No indexer needed. All data and logic are on, on chain. It's modular. Cat tokens can be used in smart contracts and integrated into dApps like AMMs. Now, let's go to the documentation here for a second, which is right here. And let's read what they say about this part here, right? So these are the key um, highlights. We propose a novel UTXO-based um, token protocol on Bitcoin called Covenant Attested Token, okay? Um, Cat protocol. It is minor validated and uses smart contracts, specifically covenants to manage token mints and transfers. Compared with all existing token protocols on Bitcoin, it is solely enforced, enforced by Bitcoin script at layer one. So this now means that how it's compatible with layer one as well. From the purest form, and it's also validated by the miners. This is why you do not need an indexer, which is super important for centralization, guys, okay? Um, and I could go into a little bit more details in terms of how is this different to runes? So why is this different to runes and even BRC20 tokens? Well, runes and BRC20 tokens, from the end user, it looks like if they actually exist on layer one, right? Which they do, but it's like a virtual token. It's not really there. It just looks like if it's there. But even worse, these two things are reliant on indexers that's created by a man, some guy that we have to trust that he created it correctly, that it's going to track all of these different things. Token transfers, the correct balances, is it the actual same token that has that value, etc., etc. Now, when we're talking about Cat20, it's validated by the miners, so you don't need any indexers, which makes it super decentralized compared to what we already have. And again, let's just say OpCat was activated on layer one, whenever that may be, months from now, years from now, these tokens could actually go down there too. So remember, this Cat20 UTXO-based token standard is validated by the miners and is native to Bitcoin layer one. That is wild. So let me, let me reiterate that in better words for you so you could clearly understand the importance of this and why China is going ham and why it's like just popping off and pretty much breaking fractal Bitcoin. So the indexers that BRC20 uses and runes 
aren't validated by the miners. It's created by a human being, okay? So you have to trust that person that they created. But furthermore, all of these validations happen off-chain, not on-chain. The beautiful thing not about not having any indexers, when the miners validate it, it's on-chain. Crazy. So Cat20 is very similar to Bitcoin because Bitcoin does not rely on indexers. It's super decentralized in that regard. But Bitcoin also has trackers. And trackers is like, let's think of it as this mechanism in a wallet that tells you your balances. But it has no governing rule, no authority over it or anything like that. That's exactly what Cat20 does. And those validations with these indexers happen off chain. With these trackers like Bitcoin and Cat20, it's all on chain because the miners are the ones validating it. So think of the miners as the indexers and these trackers that just displays your units in your wallet like a Unisat wallet, but it has no governing laws. Like there's no force behind the tracker, right? So the tracker in itself is not centralized. Or else then you could argue then, if that's the case, then Bitcoin centralized because Bitcoin uses the same thing. That's why people are hella bullish on this Cat20 and for good reason. Okay, so moving on. This is the documentation. Um, if you guys want to start minting this, you need to get a node. I gave it to my developers. I'll leave this in the comment section and also in the description box. You need to click this and then it'll take you over to the GitHub, which is right here. And I was dinking around just looking at stuff for the sake of the video. I don't know none of this damn jargon. I ain't going to lie to y'all. This is not my area of expertise. But for the people who knows how to do it, you can set up a node and then you can go ham. And speaking about going ham, China is going ham right now, bro. Straight up. So, and again, we do have a lot of time here. So I'm hopeful now. Let's just say you don't know how to do all this node shit. That's fine, right? I saw this over here. A uh, businessman says, who is spinning up the front end for this? And then it looks like Dot Swap. He's like a representative of Dot Swap. I know who will uh, bet on it. So maybe that's a hint, hint, hint kind of thing. I don't know. But what I do know is this. If you want FB in... Um, you know, instead of going to CoinX, you could come over to Dot Swap. Make sure you click V1. And if you got Bitcoin, you could then now obviously connect your wallet. Your Bitcoin shows here. And then you could directly swap on their platform for FB. The price right here is $22.27. And on these guys, it's $23.29. So it's up to you guys which option you want to use. I mean, I'll try out Dot Swap for sure and uh, see how that goes. All right, guys, so this is the video. If you want FB, you can go to .swap.app, click V1, have your Bitcoin, and just swap like you normally do. Um, if you want to go to CoinX, you can go CoinX as well. That's that. But the meta right now is Cat20. It's being minted, and I'm led to believe, based off of their the, you know, their support here for FB and BTC and what he said to um to the guy there, it's, prob it's, it's like a probably nothing tweet is what he's saying to this guy here, the .swap rep on Twitter. The, what's his name? Right here. 32 dot swap. Okay, so I don't know. Let's just keep an eye on them and me, and anybody else that you guys know is going to provide a front end for users like you and me. Let me know. Hopefully my devs got something. I'm going to actually talk to them now. <laughs> so I'll update you guys on that too. But um, that's all I got for y'all. Exciting times. We're back to bullish moments. The moment is now. So there ain't really much stuff to say other than until the next video, I think we might hit 100x. You're on your own. Later. Francis Dune Uncensored.